Welcome back. You know, the phrase contact tracing is used by a lot of health officials as one of the key components to reopening the country. But how exactly does it work? Well, Johns Hopkins University has a new program to help states out with contact tracing as they begin to reopen. Uh, joining us live to explain is Dr. Emily Gurley from Johns Hopkins School of Public Health. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, thanks for joining us. So, you know, first, I think a lot of us had never even heard of this phrase until just a month or so ago. So walk us through, you know, what is contact tracing and why is it so important in the slowing of the spread of coronavirus as we, we begin to reopen? Yeah, I'm happy to. So I know that folks have not really heard about contact tracing before, but it's something that's done every day at health departments all across our country to stop the spread of other transmissible diseases like HIV or tuberculosis. Um, and the way it works is this. So once someone is diagnosed with COVID-19, they're contacted and someone helps them assess their symptoms, make sure they can get medical care. Um, then they help them understand how they could be infectious to other people and to come up with a plan to limit their contact with other people so that they don't spread it to anyone else. Then they ask them, they go through a series of questions like, where were you yesterday? Where did you go? Um, where, you know, how did you get there? <laughs> to try to identify people who may have been exposed to them while they were infectious. And this is key because we wanna find people who've been exposed and could be infectious themselves. And then we wanna contact them and make sure they know that they could become infectious and could unknowingly infect someone they love. And so we wanna help them come up with a plan to limit their contact with other people while they could be infectious. And by doing that, then we can stop the chains of transmission. Yeah, and, and I know we've talked about uh, some states uh, saying, you know, restaurants might have to keep a log of, of all the customers that, that come in. I, I'm assuming that's just part of this whole thing. How will it play out in our local communities? Well, it's going to be a different normal than what we're used to for a while. Um, but I really think that if we can build up our ability to find and trace contacts and let people know, um, we can, if we can do that quickly, um, then we have a chance at being able to open up some parts of our economy um, and doing it confidently so that we know we're tracking uh, the cases and, and could change course if we see an uptick. So I think this is the best chance we have uh, to getting back to something that would resemble the life we had before. Right, and you know, we've talked a lot about how uh, one of the, the requirements for reopening is we need a certain amount of contact tracers. Who are these people? I mean, what's the training to be a contract tracer and, and what roles do they play? Yeah, well, the role of a contact tracer is, has many parts, it's part detective, it's part social worker, it's part therapist. It's all about people reaching out to help other people to make sure they know how to stop transmission. Um, so you don't have to have any special knowledge uh, before you start contact tracing um, training. Um, and the, we've developed a course actually to help people understand all the basics. Um, and it's, it's live, it's free for everyone. Um, so it's on Coursera, please check it out. Um, and I think really it's a difficult job. So folks who are interested in being contact tracers should, should, should take the course and see what it's all about, but it's about connecting with people, um, you know, to give and get the right, uh, information, uh, to people take some skills and building rapport um, and talking to people. So folks with effective communication skills are, are really well suited for this job. Okay, and probably people that don't already have like full-time jobs, uh, someone that might have some time on their hands. <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay. it's, this is a full-time job. Yeah. All right, well, Dr. Gurley, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll